Miss Watch is a tiny community. I want to say it's about 600 people. And it is a community that has its challenges, especially with social economics. Um, a lot of um, the farmers have moved away. Oh, the biggest challenge is trying to get people to really see the importance of changing your life. I would love to see the community grow some. I really don't want it to be a big community because I do love the small town. Yeah, I love living in Sawatch. It's one of the big things is not spending money on doing stuff. There's so much to do out in nature. It's 80 something percent public lands out here. You're gonna learn a lot more from one another than from somebody like me or anybody from the outside. So that's why we started these. Going and collecting information from the community is built in to the process. Absolutely. Today was really about bringing the organizers together based on their request from all over San Luis to have a day to get to know one another, to get to know more about the process, and more about a particular place that four of those organizers are working in. The third objective is to learn a little bit about Sawatch, both what's gone great here and is going well, as well as some of what the challenges still are here. If you lived out here on this back section and wanted to go to the clubhouse to use the internet or something, from our house it's a mile and a half. Yeah. But again, it's how do you access it if your kids have to walk a mile and a half to get there. Yeah. We were in Denver and we were in a situation where we would have ended up in a homeless shelter with my kids. So do I do that and hope that there's some sort of system worked in to help us get back on our feet? Or do we go old school basically and go with the bottom rung of not having any amenities and living on firewood for cooking until you can slowly build up on your feet. It's, you have to make that choice and as a parent it's hard. And we had a friend that had a bus out here that was converted into an RV and said we were more than welcome to stay out here till we got on our feet. That was three years ago. We slowly moved into an apartment and then into a nice trailer we were able to buy the lot that we started out on and build a house from scratch. A lot of people are doing the same thing as we did and barely getting by. And we've been lucky to have people help us out. And if there's some way we can build something to help the greater community out, I'm all for it. That's what helped us. The so watch has always been very community oriented. And so all the, the school back there, you see that little school there? I went to school there from uh, first grade to fourth, fifth grade. Lots of memories there. It was dead for, it was a ghost town really for 20 years or more. One of the things the trust looks at is, is the community dying? Like, is it past that tipping point? And my argument for so much Antonito and San Luis is no. Yeah. That yeah. They care about the community. Yes. And they want it to come back, yep. but they don't know how to get started. For me to be able to, to meet with classmates back then, and today is awesome for me. I think it's a step that my grandchildren will, and my children, will see. It really was. We, yeah. were, we were at a point of mm -hmm. like ghost town. Like, it, it was. There was nothing was, here, and nothing. these businesses were all boarded up. Mm -hmm. The grocery was closed for a while, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, there was, no, there was nothing store. for a while. Yeah, the grocery store was closed. The only thing we had was the corporate business, the convenience store on the highway. Right. That's all we really had, and a liquor store. 
So little by little more stuff happened and, and we sort of feel now like as the, the downtown business community, every new thing that opens helps everybody else because there's just more activity and things going on. We don't have a Walmart, we don't have a Dollar Tree, but we also don't have a stoplight. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Anywhere, yeah. There's not so one stoplight cool. in town. Mm -hmm. I just like to bring everybody back. We like to be a happy place for our kids to grow up.